What is going on, everyone? It's your boy Phil Shocker, the 96 Chad Jug here, and we are here for week number five of the UMPL DV. As you guys may have noticed from the video about the JJDL, which is going to definitely be uploaded before we upload this one. Uh, this is going to be the only league that we're going to be uploading as of right now until the DLC 2 might be starting January for leagues and stuff like that. I think is what everyone's going to do, especially for showdown servers, I think is also going to be doing January. So pretty much after this league, we're going to be taking ourselves a nice and glorious relaxation. I'm going to enjoy playing the DLC. I'm going to enjoy playing Pokemon Uranium, which I have been loving so much. It's a game that sucks when it comes to grinding, but it's an amazing game, and I recommend everyone check out Pokemon Uranium on Let's Plays or even download the game yourselves. Just be a little careful downloading in some areas because you could potentially get some hacked on it if you're not careful. So with that being said, though, let's talk about UMPL here. Uh, if you guys are excited, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Join the Full Shocker crew today because you're going to be the king of the crew. And with that being said, let's go ahead into this matchup. So we are kicking on, coach. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> and to everyone that says bless you in the comments, thank you. So we are taking on the Quincy Quaffs and coach DJ Snore. DJ Snore here, and he's actually a pretty cool dude. He's very positive, has great feedback out there, and is overall a really great person. So uh, definitely looking forward to playing him in this matchup. Um, he is 3-1 and one right now, so he has actually a really good record going into the season. We are currently 2-2, two and two, so we have a bit of a more important un un end here. We can both go into this, we go into week 6 now with being 3-2, and two, with me in the win, him having the loss. Or we're going to go 2-3 and three while they go 4-1. and one. So there is a very big game here. And the matchup is slightly in my favor, but I'm not counting DJ out because DJ has some phenomenal threats. He definitely drafted a really top-heavy team, um, which is very common. Everyone drafts, likes to do that. I mean, I'm do, I've done that with CPL, and you guys saw how well we did with that. So definitely going to make sure I'm taking DJ's team very serious because he can definitely bring about pretty much nine of his – eight of his ten mons that he has. Yes, I do count right this thing. So – DJ's team, he has Goldango, Greninja, Iron Moth, Kamo, Kilowatcha, Rabombi, Serena, Mamoswine, Lycanroc, Midnight Form, and Zangoose. And his Terra Cap is Beam Kilowatcha with Electric, Ice, and Ground. Lycanroc, Midnight with Rock, Fairy, Fighting, and the Zangoose with Normal, Fire, and Fairy. Looking at what I don't think he's going to bring, I don't think Mamoswine comes at all. Mamoswine really does not match up well into my team, I want to say. And I don't think the Lycanroc. I think Lycanroc and Mamoswine do not come at all in this matchup. Everything else, oh dear God, do I just lose. So if Lycanroc was to come, I do expect Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy from both that and Zangus is 100% what I'm expecting him to bring in this matchup, as it's a really good answer to Annihilate in this matchup, since Annihilate kind of does go crazy in this game with the support that I do have around it. But the other eight Pokemon, literally interchangeable and stuff like that. Um, if Kilowattro comes, I'm expecting Terra Ice into Terra Electric into Terra Ground. I do think he does bring Terra Ground at all in this matchup. And if I'm the Zangoose, I'm Terra Fairy, Terra Normal, or Terra Fire. Those two. Basically, what I'm saying with that is that's the order I see the Terras being possible, or at least the first two Terras that I would see being in some of my team. So with what I decided I think he's going to bring, I think he's going to bring Webs, because he's been seen I have not really been running any hazard removal in this matchup. But lately as well, Rabombi into my team is actually very good. I really cannot switch into that Rabombi at all, and I do not have good Fairy Resist on my team. For the most part. So that's something I took note of here. There is a chance he could bring the Serena. It's a very decent chance to come. It's a good way to remove hazards potentially. I do think there is a decent chance as well that he may well bring, what's the other thing? Goldango. Goldango's not too terrible into my team. But I just don't think Goldango makes a ton of sense. I could also still see the Mammoth Swing come. But it would be a little rough to bring in my opinion. As you're forced to either be Chapel, Scarf, Bandit, and all this stuff. This is the six I expect him to bring to this match. We obviously could change it. I think Booster Mob makes sense. I think he has, has to be Protein Grin in this matchup. I think Protein Grin matches up better to me. Battle Bond does also make sense, but Protein is much better. Like I said, I do see Terra Ice Kilowattro if he's bringing that. Rabombi can either be offensive or whatever. So there's that. And I do think the Zangus, like I said, very good option to this matchup as well. And then the Como, which I expect to be bulletproof to block gunshots, because gunshots actually can get blocked by bulletproof, if I remember correctly. So, there's that. So, with the team that we are bringing here, and I'm sorry, DJ, if I'm taking a little longer than I need to be. 
We have Silhouette in the Dark right here with the Roselli Berry. I'm taking the risk and going Roselli Berry over Tanga. I was actually thinking of going Salt Vested just because I think it could match up with Butter and be more funny. But we are going Max Max. That way we either we speed tie with Killa, which is his fastest mine, and we outspeed everything else on the East team. Sludge Bomb, Psy Shock, and Ice Beam. I'm taking a bit of a gamble here with Psy Shock. Now, I went Psy Shock over Psychic because I feel like if his Kamal comes, it's more on the Spadef side. Then it's going to be the Biz Def side. So that's what I'm going to take a big on that. And plus, Psyshock nukes. Nukes Moth if he tries to set up with that thing. Um, Ice Beam just there for the Kamao, the Serena, the Kilowatcher before it Terra's. Sludge Bomb there for the Robombi, for the Serena as well in case we need to. But I also just really need it mostly for that. I'm taking a gamble here, and I'm not running a Dark type move in this week. Dark didn't really look good into his team. And last but not least, we're rocking Thunder for the Greninja. For the Greninja and... Uh, I think there was something else, but I needed something for Greninja, and this is the only move I could get for it, and I had to risk it, so I have to go for it. I wasn't going to risk Focus Blast. That move misses way too often for me. Thunder? Not as much. Blossom, a potential win con to this matchup, as it is insanely good into his team. Fairy plus ground shreds him. Calm Mind with Protect, the left wrist covers, max HP, 12 in defense, 160 special attack with a modest nature, 84 speed, which helps us outspeed some of the lower end bulk on his team, which is also really good. It also helps outspeed a non-speed invested Kamo, which is also insanely good in this team. So now this is a little risky because if he hits me on the Vizip side, he's definitely going to hit me hard. But if I start getting Calm Minds up, as most of his team is actually a little bit more of special attackers than physical attackers, even though it kind of bounces a lot, he's definitely going to be bringing a little more special than physical in this match, which is why I'm taking the risk of not running much investment in his defenses. Up next, we have Boo Boo Keys, which is going to be the main, main usage in this matchup to set up them screens. And we're also going a little bit of a unique set of the moves here. We're actually going Dazzle Gleam to be able to take on the Kamo and beat that thing relatively well, and also to be able to help take on the Greninja. Rocking Psy Shock here. That way, in case this Iron Moth tries to do anything, I can actually put in a decent amount of offensive pressure on that thing and be able to whittle it down. Plus, it helps catch it on a switch on if I want to make a prediction on that. We have max HP, 92 defense, 160 speed up with 4 in speed. Uh, the 4 in speed, I believe, does let me outspeed Kamo if it's not running any speed investment. And the Spadef with the Calm Nature lets me take on more hits on the special side. Since I felt like hit taking more special hits than physical hits. We're going with Cranky Kong this week with leftovers. Mixed defense. So we're running a tiny bit more Spadef because, like I said, his Spadef is a little bit more scary than his physical. But we are still running a chunk, good chunk of both HP and defense with 156 in both 20 attack and 176 Spadef. I don't need to run any speed out, speed defense of Kamoa, which is really good. Bulk up Dream Punch and Rage Fish, which really just checks everything on his team to a T. We are actually rocking with Protect. Now, the reason why we're going to Protect is, one, it chips down the Zangus if it's Toxic Boost. But more importantly, Protect is his leftover recovery and lets me scout out turns, which is really, really important as well. We're bringing back Chief with the same set as he brought last week, and we're taking a gamble with this set. This set lets me out to be plus one Kamo, and we're going full offensive like we did last week. Agility, Psychic, Hurricane, and Heatwave, basically the same set. I was actually thinking of going with something else with maybe like Dual Stab plus Calm Mind, which really just defeats everything on his team. But I had to take into consideration of all the other mods that we could face and what I really would need to get them. And if I had to go against Serena or Mammoth Swine, I would rather risk going for the Heatwave and or Psychics if I can get to do that. But Heatwave just seems a little more better. That way I can be able to hit the Godango and guarantee kill it. And last one, we have Diddy Kong making its return this week. We did Gunshock, Acrobatics, and Knockoff. We're going fully offensive. No setup this week. Um, basically, if I get the Unburdened off, I'm faster than everything, including plus one uh, Iron Moth, which is really great. 96 HP, max attack, out of it, 160 speed up again to outspeed that. And I believe it outspeeds Kamal, which we made sure of that as well. But with that being said, I have kept DJ waiting long enough. I am going to go ahead and send him the challenge. Very nervous for this matchup. Very important game for us this week. I have double-checked my abilities. I have double-checked everything else. We should be good. If I, for some reason, am an idiot and did not check everything carefully, then I will probably have to quit Pokemon. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to do that. Okay, so. Two, let's see what he brings. Does choose to bring the two, bring the three mons. I did not expect him to bring. Now you guys know that I have been bringing fire sets, so I think DJ had to go out of his way here to figure that out. So no Greninja, which I will hundred percent take. Did you see the Rabombi? 
We see no. Oh no, we do see a Zangoose. We do not see Killo, which I am very surprised Killo didn't come. So we see a Serena. And no Kamala, which I will 100% take. So this team is pretty much just going to lose to my Mammal Swine. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, okay, we got everything. So if he does try to set up webs here, that's not going to be the end of the world. Man, does my thing here just win. Wow, does it just win. Um, I think he's going to lead either with the Rabombi, or he is going to lead off with the... He also could lead off with the... Hmm, he could also lead with Mammo. Mammo could be Sash lead with Rocks. Rabombi, I think, is definitely looking more offensive here. I... I think I want to lead. Hmm. Let's see, two twenty two. I want to outspeed Mamo. I think I want to leave the Blossom here, actually. As the Rabombi is the lead of choice, I'm going to go ahead and get my Calm Minds going here. He is Webs, so that's very good information to know. I'm going to go for Calm Mind here again. Very surprised he would bring webs, but at the same time, webs makes a ton of sense into my team. Webs. And if he's webs, I really don't think he's quiver. Really don't think he's quiver if he's webs. I honestly think offensive Robombi was a better bring, in my opinion. But I can definitely see why webs would be brought. As I've been kind of... Wait, why am I showing this to you? <laughs> As I have been kind of showing that I don't run removal. So in comes the Zangoose. I am now plus two, plus two. Okay. Zangoose. Facade does knock me out if he goes for it. I think I'm going to protect here. Because I think he's just going to click the side here. He's going to tear a fire. Very interesting. He SD'd. Wow! That was a ballsy play. Wow, was that ballsy, man. Wow, was that ballsy. Okay. This is definitely looking rough for us, but it's not on the winnable. I'm going to have to definitely sack someone here. And I think I'm... No, I think Diddy Kong's still really, really good. I feel like he's going to click Facade here. So he's plus two. Fire. He might click Terra Blast here, predicting my switch out. Terra Blast into my floor just would pretty much knock me out. If you Terra Blast into my Annihilate, it doesn't do much to me. And I kind of need to keep Annihilate as healthy as possible. I don't think Darkrai is doing me much. I'm actually going to sack Darkrai. This is a very risky sack. I understand that. Yep, he does Terra Blast. Okay. So what I think I do here, and I'm very surprised that Terra Fire was the brilliant choice. Let's see. Drain Punch does 49 to 57. I think I go Cranky Con here. So I got my plus two here. 
And just recover all that health back. I'm just gonna drain punch here. Oh I forgot he gets shadow claw. That might be the game. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's been going on with me lately, man. That killed through screens. I just want to say something right now. That killed through screens. Is that a roll in the collect the eye? Some weird chance? You gotta be adamant then, right? No, how'd that kill? That makes no sense how that kills. Man, I did not think he'd be Terra Blast Fire. I wish I had Terra Ground there, but I really didn't think he was gonna SD. I don't know why he would SD. I feel like that's a throw though, right? I mean, out of curiosity with my Forges. Okay, what the frick, bro? Game, are you serious right Computer, are we serious right now? God, nothing is going my way, man. This is just so frustrating. This is so frustrating because this. My computer is being absolute shit, and I'm losing so much to just stuff that I'm not preparing for, which is on me, 100%. 100%, that's on me. I can't I can't be mad at this, you know? Plus two Moonblast. Yeah, I should have just Moonblasted. Moonblasted would have put him in range, and I would have not had to attack everything. Yeah. I should not have risked that. I should not have risked that. <sighs> anyway, Grafi lives. No, that's game. Braveheart doesn't live. You gonna be that event? He has to be like out of it, no speed. Man, dude. I'm really, I'm really sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I think I just, I guess I guess go with Florida here. I just got to tear around here. Like there's nothing I can do. There's like, there's like legitimately nothing I can do. I gotta go do decon here. And he just picks Asad. This, this is just... My only hope is that he doesn't go Mammoth Swine. Actually, he went Gold Angle, which is actually better for me. Any specs. Okay. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I really don't know what I did wrong. I guess maybe just moon blasting there would have helped. But I realistically don't think you click sword stance there unless you're thinking I'm gonna throw. And again, this is no, 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 no hate towards DJ. DJ played phenomenally. He got the opportunity to set up and win. Congrats to him. That was phenomenal positioning on his end. Phenomenal positioning on his end. You know, I, I can't be mad at him for doing that. You know, it just makes me mad that I think that 
I just feel like I'm not playing as well as I should be. You know, I feel like I know I'm better than this. I feel like I know I'm a great player. But I am just letting, like, last two playoff games and now this game, I have been absolutely getting railed, man. And I don't know if it's because, like, I'm just really not thinking things through or if opponents are really, really knowing that I'm going to prep for this and this and that and they don't bring that stuff and it kind of messes me up. Which is, again, if they're doing that, it's phenomenal prep. Amazing job. Definitely something that any player, if they see an opportunity they think they can work, they pull it off. And obviously all of my opponents have made that work for them. But just for me, it just hurts, you know, because, like, I do want to try to win and stuff like that. But it just hurts that, you know, you get bodied like this and it just makes you feel like, wow, am I really doing something wrong right here? Like, am I really just not doing anything right, you know? And again, like I said, no shame to all my opponents. They play and prep amazing. You know, Bash had a great new set that really messed me up, and I just didn't play around it perfectly well. Uh, Marcelo just had a phenomenal counter prep team that he had against me, which was really, really good. And then obviously GJ had to, you know, he had to think outside the box against me because he knows I like to bring these sets. And, you know, he really brought stuff that I was not expecting, and it worked for him in the end. And like I said, I, do, it was, I was seeing like eight Pokemon coming this matchup. Uh, the Terrifier was a very shock bring, in my personal opinion. I don't think Terrifier made a ton of sense, but I can understand why he would in case he wanted to take on fairy hits and such. But again, I just don't know if I would agree on Terrifier, but it is what it is. And um, yeah, and now we are two and four with plus one. If we lose one more, wait, no, two and three, my bad, two and three. But uh, this is not good for us. If we lose one more game, then we'll be forced to have to win out to make a shot at playoffs. But if we lose two more games in a row, then that's more than likely possibly our season right there. It would be very possible with four and five, but I need a lot of help with that. And um, yeah, so I'm really sorry, guys, that I let you guys down. And uh, I've just been kind of also just been feeling burnt out of Mazda. I've been enjoying Uranium a lot more. And... You know, to anyone that feels like I'm not prepping the way I know and giving them good matches, I do apologize. But I think Draft League has kind of taken the toll on me now. And, you know, I think I just want to finish up these leagues, enjoy a little break, and then come back stronger for you guys, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish the season strong. Definitely not going to quit because I'm not a quitter. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, if you guys stuck around to the very end of the video, I very much appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. But with uh, that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if DJ wants to link anything, I'll put a link in the description. But, um, yeah, with that being said, thank you guys again, and I'll see you next week. Bye.